One of the other questions that I received was, what is the role of body language? How does it impact communications or speaking or public speaking? And how can you use it to your own advantage? So let's look at that. So we, let's call it body language. Body language and public speaking. So there, there are a couple of, of things that um, we need to pay attention to when it comes to body language. Number one is to say, OK, how, <laughs> let's first talk about the role. Let's talk about the role, first of all. There's research which was made, and they discovered that when you're communicating, and again, we're talking about the context of public speaking, then there are a couple of, you know, there are three strands when it comes to communication. So there's words, there's the visual, and then the vocal. Vocal or voice. And in terms of percentage terms, the vocal is about 38%. That's what it is attributed. Then this is about 55%, and this is 7%. Now I want to go into the psychology of all this. Uh, because we won't have time, I want to jump into, into what this question is all about. So when, when we talk about body language, it's really about visual. So when we talk about visual, there are two areas. It's about dress and then body language. And body language, I would estimate, should account for 70 to 80%, and this is about 20 to 30%. That's Again, depending on the context, it could be more. Again, there is no research based on this. This is something I'm saying in the moment. So your body language is huge, in that it's a, you know it's within this realm of 55 uh, percent. So in terms of body language, could contribute say 40 percent plus. Therefore, you have to pay attention to it. So meaning, it's going to impact your communications. Let me give you an example. If I came to you and I said. Hi, I'm really happy to see you, my friend. So I'm smiling, most likely you'll believe that message. But if I came and said, hi, I'm really happy to see you. Let me see if we can get a, a close up here so that you get the difference of um, when you're happy and when you're not. So for example, it could be, here is a difference. One could say, hi, I'm really happy to see you. Now, most likely you will not believe that. Okay. So why? And one of the reasons is because the face is not happy. But if I said, hi, I'm really so happy to see you. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, this changes the dynamic. Of course, there is the voice in that the voice is happy. But guess what? There is the visual. What you're seeing is you're seeing a happy face. Okay. I hope uh, my, my art saves me there in the moment. <laughs> so. Meaning, so when you talk about this, the percentage, so meaning your body language will either enhance what you're saying. So body language, when it comes to body language, you can think about it in terms of credit and debit. So meaning the first round, by me not smiling, there was a debit against my message. By me smiling while saying happiness, that was a credit to my message because it was mine. When you do, when it is credit, meaning it's matching, then it's what we call being congruent. Congruent, being congruent means typically that the body, your words match the body language and the tone of voice. Then you're more believable. So to, in terms of raw, it's about the research. It enhances the message. But also, it will determine your believability or not. People will either believe you or doubt you, depending on how you use your body language when you're communicating. So that's something that you have to pay attention to, extreme attention to. Related to that, someone asked a message, how can you use um, or can I demonstrate how to use body language to enhance the message? So, how can you use the body to enhance the message when you're speaking? So, a couple of things. 
Number one, one of the things we need to think about is in terms, so I want to talk about it from two places, from two spaces. One is credibility. The other one is likability. So these are two things that I, I talk about a lot in detail. Uh, I learned this many, many years ago when I was in my mid-twenties. In that this is, credibility is why should people listen to you? Likeability is why should people like you? Or in essence, can people connect with you? So you, you, need, you can use your body language to enhance credibility. What do I mean? So let me see if we can get a close up here. So there are two ways, for example, if you're stooped, if you're stooped low and you're like this, that doesn't show any leadership if you're like this. So people will not trust you. But if you stand tall, okay, so like your chest is up and you stand like that, then you're communicating leadership without even using the word leadership. That's what you're communicating. So meaning, so in terms of credibility, you can stand tall, stand tall, okay? meaning chest out. That will enhance your credibility. Okay. Then in terms of likability, this again, what we know is that one of the qualities of that will uh, accelerate your credibility, I mean your likability, is to smile. So if I came to you and said, hi, I'm happy to be here. Okay. This, this has life. Okay. So in terms of likability, smile. Yeah, like that, baby. Oh yeah, my girls like that word, baby. So, you smile, smile, my friend. I'm not saying that you smile throughout, but when you have a chance, there are people who are wired to smile throughout, God bless them, I'm not that kind, but you can intentionally smile. When you smile, you enhance um, likability. The other thing you can actually do in terms of um, enhancing your message. This is beyond credibility and likability. So we are talking about message enhancement. If we want to enhance your message, enhancement is gestures. What do I mean? There's a difference between let's come, to, there's a difference between let's come together and unite and let's come together and unite. So by me using that gesture, then it enhances my message. So I would suggest, so these are the Two, these are the quick tips I can give you in terms of utilizing your body language to communicate your message. I hope that's helpful. God bless.